So in order to install Anaconda, the first step is to simply search Anaconda download in the Google. And you can see the first link is from anaconda.com. So you should right click on it and open that in new tab. And in this web page, I should just scroll down. And here, because I'm on Windows, I right click on this and press save link as. And I should specify the path to download the files. So I press save and it starts downloading. So that's it, you can see the file has been downloaded, so right click on it and click on run as administrator. And here you should press next and after reading the agreements you should press agree. And I want to install for all users, so I click on this and I press next. And now suppose that I want to install Anaconda in this location, so I click on this and I copy the path. And here in this step, I paste the path which I have copied. And remember that the installation folder is important because it is going to create a file which is called Python Interpreter, which is a very important file. For example, if you want to install other IDEs, like PyCharm and etc., you need that Python interpreter. So remember the installation folder because we need it later in this video. Then I press next and here I should press install and I should wait for the installation process. And also here you can see that it's creating some files, folders and etc. And after waiting for a long time, you can see that the installation was successful and it has been completed. So I press next and once again I press next and I want to uncheck both of these and I press finish. And here in this installation folder, if I scroll down, you can see that there is a file which is called python.exe, which is the Python interpreter. And for example, if you want to install PyCharm and other IDEs in it, this interpreter. And if you don't see these extensions, you should go to view and check file name extensions. And now I should search for Anaconda Navigator in the search of windows. And if you see the Anaconda Navigator, so click on it, but you can see that I don't see the Anaconda Navigator. So I want to try another method to open the Anaconda Navigator. So in order to do so, first of all, you should go to the view tab and here you should check this one, hidden items, because you want to show the hidden items as well. That's it. And then you should go to the C drive and here we should click on program data and here we should go to Microsoft folder and then Windows folder and then it should go to a start menu folder and then here we should go to programs folder and here we should go to Anaconda 3 folder you can see the Anaconda Navigator and also the Jupyter Notebook is here so for example if I want to open the Anaconda Navigator so I should double click on this and don't worry about these black windows that will open and close so you should wait in order to load the Anaconda Navigator. So let's maximize this window. And I should wait for these processes. So there it is, you can see here's the Anaconda Navigator. And for example, if I want to open the Jupyter Notebook, so I click on this launch button, and you can see it opens the Jupyter Notebook in your browser. And for example, in order to start coding, you should click on new, and you want to create a new Python file, so click on this. And here you can choose a name for your file, for example, notebook01 or whatever name you want. And I press rename. And here we can start coding. So let's print hello world. That's it. And in order to run this cell, I should click on this button or I should press control enter on my keyboard. There it is. You can see here is the output. So you should remember that we have two modes in the Jupyter Notebook. You can see, for example, if I click on this, the color is green. It means that we are in the edit mode. And if I press the escape key on my keyboard, you can see this color is blue. It means we are out of the edit mode. And in order to insert a cell above this cell, first of all, it should be outside the edit mode. And after that, you should press A on your keyboard. A means above in order to insert a cell above this cell. And if I click on this, you can see I go to the edit mode and I can start typing whatever I want. So for example, let's print five times eight and I press control enter on my keyboard in order to run this cell. And you can see here's the output. And for example, if I want to insert a cell below this cell, so first of all, I should click on it. And remember that I should be outside the edit mode and I should press B on my keyboard means below because I want to insert a cell below that cell. That's it. And here I click on this in order to go to the edit mode and here I can type whatever I want. So for example, let's type nine times nine. And if I press control enter, you can see here's the output. And also pay attention to the running order. We can see this was the first cell which we have run. So this is one, this is cell two which we have run and this is the third cell which we have run.
And if you want to restart the notebook and clear all the outputs, so I go to kernel and here I should click on this restart and clear output. And I want to restart and clear outputs. So I should wait. And here we can see all the outputs have gone and you can see it has restarted the notebook. So once again, I can click on any cell I want. So for example, let's click on this and I press control enter in order to run this and let's click on this and press control enter to run this cell and also click on this cell and press control enter in order to run this cell. And again, remember that these are the running orders. And there is another kind of restart. So if I go to kernel and if I click on this restart and run all, it is going to restart and also clear all the outputs, but it is going to run every cell from the top to the bottom. So if I click on this and once again, if I click on this restart and run all cells, you can see it is restarting all this stuff. And now you can see it has run all the stuff from the top all the way up to the end. And if you want to delete a specific cell, so you should click on it. And remember that it should be outside the edit mode. And after that, you should press D on your keyboard twice. So you can see that I have deleted that cell. And for example, if I want to delete this cell, so remember I should click on this and I should be outside the edit mode and I should press D on my keyboard twice. That's it, you can see it has been deleted. Now if I save this file, and if I close this tab, here we can see that I have a notebook, notebook 01.ipython notebook. You can see the extension is ipython notebook. And as you can see, the file has been saved in the root, I mean, in my user. So for example, if I go to C drive and users and my user, you can see there it is. Here's the notebook which we have created. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.